What's up? Welcome back to Nostalgia. Dave here with a review of New Jeans' second EP, second mini album, Get Up. Yes, the hottest thing in K pop, without question, New Jeans. They are back. This is their second EP, first release since OMG, the single album back in January, and of course their debut EP almost exactly one year ago. And in this year, New Jeans have unquestionably become the hottest act in K pop, the most I think significant, you know, new act, fourth generation K-pop group without question. I think that's like not really up for debate at this point for a few reasons. One, their immense popularity, which we can get into, but also I think probably more interestingly is how unique New Jeans has been from the very beginning with the creativity, the the sound they have, the concept they have as a group, specifically not going for that like girl crush concept that's been super popular with girl groups lately instead going for more of that i think modest sounding girl next door y2k aesthetic type vibe you know there's real r&b influence here specifically 90s r&b influence you can hear some jersey club at times some 80s pop the i think modesty but also i think niceness to the vibe without being simple and in fact actually being very creative has just immediately stood out over the past few years in terms of their peers, in terms of the K-pop industry. And on top of that, they've made a lot of great tracks that have been huge bangers, very catchy songs, have found that TikTok success, leading to this immense popularity. I mean, with this new EP, Get Up, this group only has 13 songs out in the last year. And despite all that, you're looking at over 20 million monthly listeners on Spotify. You know, that's on par with Blackpink right now. In- incredible. Uh, they're about to do a La La Palooza set next month. You know, only 13 months into their entire career. All five members are brand ambassadors for major luxury fashion brands at this point. And they're the fastest K-pop group to have three Billboard Hot 100 hits. And I'd imagine they're going to get a fourth one soon. Well, I'll get into that on this new EP. Uh, the popularity is just speaking for itself and i think you know when you release songs like hype boy and you release songs like omg it makes a lot of sense that they're gonna also resonate on tiktok but more importantly they're also great songs so needless to say i've been very excited about new jeans and i find them very compelling and thus this get up ep you know the second ep the second you know big release third real release from the group need a lot of eyeballs this is you know one of the biggest k-pop releases of the year just by default and you know going into this i started to have a little bit of reservation just because you know the first two singles we got or really the, the first single we got super shy they've been performing it it's got the music video this one you know rocketed up the billboard hot 100 chart debuting at 66 their high high mark thus far despite all that i'm not the biggest fan of this song i don't really think it like holds up to the immense highs of songs like hype boy and omg and even other hits they have like attention and cookie like i just don't find it on that level for me it's just kind of an okay song like the fast drum tempo is nice danielle being one of the co-writers you love to see that and in general danielle and heron doing a bunch of co-writing on this ep they're teenagers a year into their careers this is really unheard of with k-pop you love to see it but super shy to me like I just find it a bit repetitive with the lyrics and as a result, just kind of underwritten. And, you know, the verses are basically the same each time. And also the choreography, um, something that's usually one of their strengths and what the, comes with their other songs. I'm not a huge fan of it. It's kind of growing on me. Like, it's still a catchy song, but I don't necessarily love it. Uh, the other single is track one on Get Up, and that would be uh, New Jeans, you know, with a space this time. And... That one I think is okay. It has the hair and co right on it. They you know, they have a dance for it. They've been performing this as well. I think that song's just okay. It doesn't really stand out to me too much. It's fine. But uh, in Super Shy's track two. Track three, though, this is where the fun begins. ETA, a song that's been teased by them. They performed it at a, like the Bunnies Camp you know performance concert they did over in uh, Korea recently. So people knew about this track, at least in some form. You get ETA, you got the music video out today, shot on an iPhone, 
really fun video, a lot going on in it. Has this really noticeable hand clap tempo right away. Love the production. And I think this is just incredibly fun. You know, the, the pre chorus on this, you have Keen, Minji, Daniel, and Hani all doing these like quick lines, quick short lines in succession. Very catchy, sounds great. Immediately going into the beginning of the chorus, where I think Heron has clearly the best part of the whole song, uh, we can go wherever you like. Like the beat, like she just rides that part going into the chorus, you know, then then you get to the what's your ETA refrain, which is, you could say is a bit repetitive, but I, I don't feel like it's underwritten like Super Shy because I think the verses on ETA, that pre-chorus, those are all really strong moments. Then going into something simple, which is basically just a dance break moment for the song with ETA, I, I think that's a banger. Uh, I think that's clearly the biggest banger on Get Up. Do I hold it to the same level as some of their other ones, like OMG and Hype Boy? I don't know. You know, I mean, obviously I just heard the song, but eventually they can't keep outdoing themselves every single time. So even if you lease another really good song and it's not quite as amazing as your first amazing songs, that's okay. You know, we don't have to be too hard on it. Uh, but yeah, I think ETA really stands out to me. Then we have uh, Cool With You, which got a music video just a few days before the Get Up release. Uh, Danielle on the co-write again. And this one stands out just because, again, like them kind of being a bit unconventional with the production. This time it's like a UK garage beat. Like it's really moving. It's fun. Uh, a bit of a repetitive hook again. But the drum tempo, I think, just really keeps you moving. Um, and honestly, the pre-chorus on Cool With You the you may be on my mind part that Danielle and Hani harmonize. I mean, I, I think the vocals on that sound incredible. Like that, that's probably the best vocal moment on the whole release. I, I, th I think they absolutely shine on that. And then on top of this, what cool with you, the music video, you know, featuring some major star power. You have Ho Yen, who people would know from Squid Game and, you know, just being a model in Korea and whatnot. And I was like, oh, wow, that's a nice, that's a big get. She's not like, you know, doing a ton of stuff. She's very selective, but she's been around K-pop before. That's not completely out of nowhere. But then you also have a very small cameo performance from none other than Tony Lung, of course, the great Chinese actor, one of the most signature actors uh, in Asia in the last 50 years. Uh, Tony Lung, notably not, not Korean, like that is a major get, you know, you just, I think you just, to me, it just speaks to the kind of clout that Ador and Hybe have with new jeans. Like, this is a unstoppable train, so you better get on board. And they literally have Tony Lung showing up in their music video for a few brief moments with some dyed hair. It's like, wow. Like, just, just, just a flex, honestly. Uh, track five is Get Up, the title, but it's only a 36 second interlude. It's just kind of all the members simply singing with, with a kick drum. Honestly, kind of disappointing that that's not really a song, given that New Jeans only have a dozen tracks out right now. Like, I would have loved that to be a fully fledged song. The thing about Get Up is like, it's not actually a song that they would probably play. It's more like they would put that on for outfit changes when they perform, or it's like the opening sound you hear at the start of the show. Like, it's not really much of a moment. So, a bit disappointing. And then you have ASAP, the last track, track six, which has been teased a fair amount as well. Another Danielle co-write. This one, you know, I, I had seen some hype about it, you know, in the pre-release form. Didn't really know what to expect. A bit let down by this one, just because, I, again, I find this one incredibly simple. Like, it's kind of like a spoken word vibe, honestly. You have this, like, tick-tock, tick-tick-tick refrain as, like, part of the production, but really it uses vocals. And for me, like, the verses are the same both times. So there's just not, like, a lot to the song, you know? I think, like, lyrically, you think about this release, it is pretty cool thematically because I think New Jeans, they have, like, actually, like, pretty mature vibe going on where they're not, like, locked into, like, one frame of reference. It's not, like, 100% always, like, empowerment stuff, you know? And uh, I think there's a lot of, uh, like, multitudes to, to what they're getting to. And, like, I guess ASAP is, like, kind of like them, like, expressing, like, the last bit of emotion on this release. But you think about, like, what ETA is about. Um, in terms of, like, dudes being shitty and, like, uh, the music video then, like, spying on some guy cheating and stuff, comparing that with the modesty of Super Shy and I think the um, kind of up-and-down messaging on a song like Cool With You, 
like I think lyrically they're also quite advanced, you know, and of course they have a lot of help with the lyrics, but uh, nothing but impress overall. And yeah, I think like I'm certainly happy with the release. I think the moments I'm cool with you, the, you know, at getting another banger out there with ETA, that was enough for me. And then, like, I think there's moments on the other songs that I enjoy, even if I'm not the biggest super shy fan. But, uh, yeah, I mean, long story short, people know it. New Jeans is, I think, just a really sign- significant, you know, music act right now. And I really cannot wait for the first full length album. Of course, we've only got two, a four track EP a two track single album and now a six track EP that's really five songs and of course the sponsored Coke Zero song. That's it, you know. They've only scratched the surface of what they can do in my opinion. So the first full length album, which I would say is, you know, maybe probably next year we would hope. Um, maybe they release another EP at the end of the year, probably not. Um when that comes, that'll be huge, you have to think. And in the meantime, of course, you know, New Jeans are putting the pressure on Ive and Seraphim and Nimix and Itzy, like, and of course, all the guys, you know, like, and, and Hyphen and stuff. Like, I think the fourth gen K pop acts are humming, but to me, New Jeans really stand out just for the creativity and the uniqueness that they continue to bring to their vibe, to their sound, to their personas. Um, I, I really enjoy kind of what they have going on with like social as well. I think they're all like really interesting personalities and fun. And they seem to be kind of wading through this okay, despite the fact that, again, they're all very young. They're all still teenagers. Minji's the oldest one. And she's 19. You know, they're, they're, all, they're still very young women. So there's a lot of r- runway ahead. But yeah, we have to hope that uh, Ador and Hybe still have their best interests at heart because they're still so young. Uh, but so far, so good from what we can tell. But let me know, how did you feel about New Jeans' second EP, Get Up? What's your favorite song? Mine is ETA. What's yours? And for more K-pop reviews, more music reviews, subscribe. And I'll see you next time.